why is your cheek so pale? How chance the roses there do fade so fast? Be like the water of rain, which I could well between them from the tempest of my eyes. The course of true love never did run smooth. Oh hell, to choose love by another's eyes. Hear me, Hermia. If thou lovest me then, steal forth thy father's house tomorrow night. And in that woods, a league above the town, where I did meet thee once with Helena, there I will stay for thee. My good Lysander, I swear to thee, by Cupid's strongest bow, by his best arrow with a golden tip, by all the vows that ever men have broke, in number more than ever women spoke, in that place thou hast appointed me, tomorrow, truly, would I meet with thee. Keep promise, love. Look, here comes Helena. Good speed, fair Helena, whither away? You call me fair, that fair again unsay. Oh, Demetrius loves your fair, oh, happy fair. Oh, teach me how you look, and with what art you sway the motion of Demetrius's heart. I frown upon him, yet he loves me still. Oh, that your frown could teach my smile such skill. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. Oh, that my prayers could such affection move. The more I hate, the more he follows me. The more I love, the more he hateth me. His folly, Helena, is no fault of mine. None but your beauty, but that fault were mine. Take comfort, he no more shall see my face. Lysander and myself shall fly this place. Helen, to you our minds we will unfold. Through Athens gate we have devised to steal. And to the woods, where often you and I upon fame primrose beds where won't to lie. Farewell, sweet playfellow, play thee for us, and good luck grant me thy Demetrius. I will go tell him of fair Hermia's flight. And to the woods you will go tomorrow night. And herein I mean to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither and back again. Is all our company here? Jif, come generally man by man according to the script. Here's the scroll of every man according to the script. Um, to pay our interlude before the Duke and Duchess on a wedding day at night. First, good Peter Quince, say what the play treats on, then read the names of the actors and so grow to a point. Marry, our play is the most lamentable comedy and the most cruel death of Pyramus and Thisbe. A very good piece of work, I assure you, and a merry. Now, good Peter Quince, call forth your actors by the scroll. Masters, spread yourselves. Aren't as I call you? Nick Bottom the Weaver? Ready. What part am I for? And proceed. You, Nick Bottom, are set down for Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A lover or a tyrant? A lover that kills himself in a galleon for love. That will ask for some tears in the true performing of it. If I do it, let the audience look to their eyes. Now what? name the rest of the players. Francis Fluth, the Bell of Mender. Here, Peter, please. You shall take this on you. Was Zeebel a wandering knight? It's the lady that Pyramus must love. No, I'm fine. Let me not play a woman. I will be out of coming. That's all one. Shall play in a mask, and you may speak as small as you will. And, and I may hide my face. Let me play this me too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. No, no, no. You must play Pyramus, and flute you Thisbe. Well, proceed. Snugs, the joiner, the lion's part. And you may... Snugs, the joiner, the lion's part. And I hope there's a play fitted. Have you the lion's part written? Pray you, if it be, give it me, for I am slow of study. Too. I will roar that I will do any man's heart good to hear me. You can play no part but Pyramus. Well, I will undertake it. I am to entreat you, request you, and desire you to come them by tomorrow night and meet me in the palace woods a mile without the town. There we will rehearse. I pray you, fail me not. We will meet, and there we will rehearse most obscenely and courageously.
wander everywhere swifter than the moon's fear. And I said the fairy queen, did you her off upon the green? Farewell, thou love of fruit, I'll be gone. Our queen and all our elves come here anon. The king doth keep his revels here tonight. Take heed, the queen cannot within his sight, for Oberon is passing fell in wrath, because that she and her attendant have a lovely boy stolen from an Indian king. She never had so sweet a changing, but jealous Oberon get the child, knight of his train to trace the forest wild. Now they never meet in grove or green, by fountain clear or spangled starlight sheen, but they do square for all their elves for fear, creep into acorn cups and hide them there. I for I mistake your shape and make him quiet, or else you are that shrewd and knavish sprite. <coughs> the driven good fellow, are you not he? That frights the maidens of the villagery. <laughs> are you not he? Thou speaks the right, for I am the merry wanderer of the night. But room fairy, here comes Oberon. And here my mistress would that he were gone. It will met by moonlight to power Titania. What? Jealous Oberon, fairest skippence. I forswam his bed and company. Tyrash warns him, am I not thy lord? Why should Titania cross her over? I do a beg a little change and boy to my henchman. His mother was a virtuous of my order, but she, being mortal of that boy, did die. And for her sake do I write up the boy, and for her sake I will not part with him. How long within these woods intend you stay? Perchance till after Theus' wedding day, if you will patiently dance in our round and see our moonlight revels, go with us. If not, shun me, and I will spare your haunts. Give me that boy, and I will go with thee. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies away. We should try down right if I long stay. Go thy way, so I shall not halt from this grove till I torment thee for this injury. Fetch me that flower, the herb I showed thee once. The juice of it on sleeping eyelids laid will make man or woman madly dote upon the next live creature that it sees. Fetch me this herb, and be thou here again, ere the leviathan can swim a league. I'll put a girdle around the earth in forty minutes. But who comes here? I'm invisible and I overhear their conference. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Lysander and fair Hermia? Thou told me they were stolen into this wood. You draw me, you hard-hearted Adam. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or rather, do I not, in plainest truth, tell you that I do not, nor I cannot love you? And even for that do I love you the more. I am your spaniel. And Demetrius, the more you beat me, I will fawn on you. Unworthy as I am to follow you. Tempt not too much the hate of my spirit. For I am sick when I do look on And I am sick when I look not on you. I will not stay thy question. Let me go. Or if thou follow me. Do not believe that I shall do thee mischief in the woods. Come now a roundel and a fairy song. Sing me now asleep, then to your offices and let me rest. The fairy sing. Here's 
a marvellous convenient place for our rehearsal. Come sit down every mother's son and rehearse your parts. Pyramus, you begin. Well, hem the homespun, so we swagger in here. So near the cradle, the fairy queen. What? A play towards. I'll be an author. An actor to a by sea course. Speak, Pyramus. Thisbe, stand forth. Thisbe, the flowers of odious savour sweet. Odors! Odors! Odors savour sweet. A stranger Pyramus, they're played here. Must I speak now? Aye, marry must you. If you must understand, he goes but to see a noise he heard and is to come again. Most radiant Pyramus, most lily white of you, of colour like the red rose on triumphant briar, as true as true as horse, the air would never tire. I'll meet thee, Pyramus, at Ninny's tomb. Why you must not speak that yet that you answer to Pyramus? You speak all your parts at once, cues and all. Oh, as true as true as horse, the air would never tire. If I were fair, Thisbe, I were only thine. <coughs> O oh, monstrous! O oh, strange, we are haunted! Pray, masters! Fly, masters! Help! I'll follow you. I'll lead you about around. Sometimes a horse I'll be, sometimes a hound. Like horse, hound, hog, bear, every turn. Why do they run away? This is a knavery of them to make me afeard. O oh, bottom, thou art changed. What do I see on thee? What do you see? You see an ass of your own, do you? Bless thee, bottom. Bless thee, thou art translated. This is to make an ass of me, to fright me if they could. But I shall not stir from this place, and I will sing to show that I am not afraid. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, what a tissue, tissue and my flowery bed. I pray thee, gentle mortal, say again, my ear is much enamoured of thy note. Thy fair virtues force the force doth move me. And the first you to say, I swear, I love thee. Methinks, mistress, you should have little reason for that. And yet, to say the truth, reason and love keep little company together nowadays. Thou art as wise as thou art beauty. Not so, neither. But if I had wit enough to get out of these woods, I would have enough to serve mine own turn. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here, whether thou wilt or no. And I do love thee. Before go. My love, you faint from wandering in the woods, and to speak troth, I fear I have forgot our way. We'll rest us here, Hermia, if you think it good, and tarry for the comfort of the day. Be it so, Lysander, find you out of bed, for I, upon this bank, shall rest my head. In one bed shall serve as pillow for us both. One heart, one bed, two pillows, and one troth. <laughs> Nay, good Lysander, for my sake, my dear, lie further off. Do not lie so near. Oh, take the sense. Sweet love's comfort. Mine heart unto yours is knit, but one heart we can make of it. I send a riddles very prettily, but gentle friend, for love and courtesy, lie further off in human modesty. Here is my bed. Sleep give thee all his rest. With half that wish, the wish's eyes be pressed, they sleep. Have I gone? But Athenians found I none, on whose eyes who might approve this flower's force is stirring love. Night in silence, who is here? Weeds of Athens he doth wear, for this is he, my master said, despised the Athenian maid. And here, the maiden, sleeping sound, on the dank and dirty ground. Upon the eyes I throw, all the powers charm doth bow. When thou wakest, let love forbid. Sleep the seat on thee I lid. So awake when I am gone, for I must now to open. Blood, no wound. Lysander. 
Panda, if you live, good sir, awake. Oh, waking and run through fine life for the high sweet sake. Transparent Helena, nature shows thy art and through thy bosom makes me see thy heart. Tis not Hermia, but Helena I love. Who would not change a raven for a dove? Wherefore to this keen mockery was I born? When at your hands did I deserve this scorn? Oh, that a lady of one man refused should of another therefore be abused. She sees not Hermia. Hermia, sleep thou there, and never mayest thou come like Sander near. Sander? What? Removed? Do not be afraid. She 
shall not harm thee. Nay, sir, she shall not, though you take her part. When she is angry, she is keen and shrewd. Why will you suffer her to flout me thus? Let me come to her. You de minimis. You dwarf. You hindering, not grass maid. You bead. You acorn. You are too fittest in her behalf that scorns your services. And she holds me no longer. And if thou darest, come with me. With mine or thine is most in Helena. Follow? Now go with me. Cheek by jewel. You, mistress, this coil is long of you. Nay, go not back. I do not trust you, and I will no longer stay in your cursed company. Your arms may be quicker to fray, but my legs are longer to run away. I am amazed! And now I not know what to say. <laughs> this is my negligence. Still, thou mistakest or else admitted thy knaveries willfully. Believe me, King of Shadows, I mistook. Did not you tell me I should know the man by the Athenian garment he hath on? Thou seest me from a secret place to fight. Whilst I am this affair that he employ, I'll to my queen and beg her in. Monsieur, for methinks I am marvellous hairy about the face, and I am such a tender ass. If my hair do but tickle me, I must scratch. Say, sweet love, what thou desirest to eat? I could munch your good dry oats. Methinks I have a great desire to a bottle of hay. Sleep, love, and I will wind thee in my arms. Fairy, be gone, and be always away. Welcome, good Robin. Seest thou this fair sight? Her dotage now, I do begin to pity. Be thou as thou wast wont to be. See thou wast wont to see. Diane's bud and Cupid's flower have such force and blessed power. Now, my Titania, wake you, my sweet queen. By Oberon, what vision have I seen? Me for pose and what an ass. There lies your love. How can these things pass? Oh, how man, I do loathe his visage now. Silence a while, Robin, take off his head. Now when thou wakest with thine own fool's eyes peep, 
sound music? Come, my queen, and take my hand, and rock the ground where on these sleepers be. Fairy king, attend and mark, I do hear the morning lark. Come, my lord, in our flight, tell me how it can be mine. It is with our good will that you should think we come not to offend, but with good will to show our simple skill. That is the true beginning of our end. Consider then we come but in despite. We do not come as minding to content you. Our true intent is all for your delight. We are not here. That you should here repent you. The actors are at hand and by their show you shall know all that you are like to know. Всей интермедии решено так было, что стену я представлю медни крыла. Стена така, что есть во мне дыра или щель или трещина в стене. Влюбленные не раз сквозь эту щелку все про любовь шептались в тихомолку. А вот и трещина направо и налево шептаться будут здесь пирам и дева. О, дым лукс night, о, night with you so black, о, night, о, night, о, лак, о, лак, о, лак. I fear my thisbe's promises forgot. And thou, O oh wall, thou sweet and lovely wall, that stands between her father's ground and mine, thou wall, O oh wall, thou sweet and lovely wall, show me thy king to blink through with mine eye. Thanks, courteous wall, Jove shield thee well for this. But what see I? No this be do I see. O oh wicked wall, for whom I see no bliss, cast me thy stones for thus deceiving me. O oh wall, full often dost thou hurt my moans, for parting my fair Pyramus and me. My cherry lips have often kissed thy stones, thy stones with lime and hair knit up in thee. I see a voice, now will I to the chink to spy, and I can hear my Thisbe's face. Thisbe? My love thou art, my love I think. Oh, kiss me through the hole of this vile wall. <laughs> I kiss the wall's hole, not your lips at all. Wilt thou at Ninny's too meet me straightway? Tide life, tide death, I come without delay. Тут роль свою закончила стена, и может хоть совсем уйти она. <laughs> you, ladies, you, whose gentle hearts do fear the smallest monstrous mouse that creeps along the floors, may now, perchance, you quake and tremble here, the now that I, one snug the joiner, am a lion's fell, nor no lion's dam. And if I should come as lion in strife into this place, to a pity on my life. I am Moonshine and this is my dog. beams. I thank the moon for shining so bright. What doth dull eyes can you see? How can it be? Oh dainty duck, oh dear. <laughs> no, no. Oh dainty duck, oh dear. Thy mantle good, what stained with blood. Thy mantle good, thy mantle good. <laughs> the pap of Pyramus, I that left pap. <laughs> Heart, sword and wound.
Achoo! 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 First rehearsed this song by rote, to each word a warbling note. Hand in hand with fairy grace will we sing and bless this place. Now until the break of day, through this house each fairy stray, to the best bride bed will we, which by us shall blessed be, and the issue there create ever shall be fortunate. Trip away, make no stay, meet us all by break of day. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That you thus have slumbered here, while these visions do appear. So good night unto you all. Take my hand if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends.